wanaume na wanake wanapaswa kuwa kama Mungu kupitia maisha ya wema na ukazaji wa roho kupitia maarifa ya kiasi mazoezi na nidam ya mwili my religion is kamitics and my spirituality is ubuntu maati consciousness therefore i am a kamitician abe sinisa la besfaza na kumele babe njongu mtali ngempilo yobuhle na ngokutsha imoya ngokwazi ukuzijwayeza okanye lokuqeqesha umzimba many of us are aware of created things that fill the space or the unseen realm ancestors entities reptilians spirits animals magnetism vibes netas it is but what really is a netter or nature yeah, which is written this way in roman letters as uh, indicated here or easily explained uh, and are pronounced as nature where the underlined t is sound as ja or chka is given by euro egyptologist is neta the creator uh, are there any netherit in african traditions most high god how is neta related to the ninefold so can anyone benefit from knowing anything about netas are the gods and goddesses worshiped are netas a spirits these are very important questions and uh, all of our answers and explanations and the how about natures or natures are connected to the understanding of that the real creator is not a spirit or a being and that there is a chasm between created entities and the creator this is the concept of the high god in africa we are just using this title uh, so that we can communicate and share a certain way of uh, looking at uh, this uh, spiritual realm and these things that surrounds us so this is a very critical and important diagram thing the tattoo that we want to deal with is the high god in africa we are using this tattoo in protest because we don't have a high god that we reference uh, to and uh, let's be honest and frank about this for us conscious humans under current brutalities economic mismanagement and political suppression does it not feel like our religion or spirituality and even the power of our ancestors or the creator that we believe in are useless that all these things do not work in the face of many scholars that we have come in contact with and study under and learn we realize that our situation via such dimensions as given by others especially uh, the high god also called sky god whom in some bantu language is called samatenga mungu wa binguni anthropology and the history of religion a type of supreme date found among many non-literate peoples of north and south america africa and north asia northern asia and australia among north american indians and central south africans thunder is thought to be the voice of the high god now how have we fed with this power how have we used this power let's look at this but before we do that let's realize that uh, while these scholars and agnostics and those that do not believe in deities want to tell us that uh, like atheists they want to tell us that oh this is useless we want to prove to them that they are run by the people that worship these deities you can see here the bohemian groove you can see that's ronald reagan and that is richard nixon and that is the uh, scientist there well 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 before they became presidents of the united states and these are the rituals of people that are running this civilization and you want to come here and you want to tell us that god or all these forces do not exist and you believe in evolution and all the nonsense of agnosticism or atheism but i'm pointing to you and saying you are useless you have no power you are controlled and you are using the money that is created by the people that perform and they work and use these rituals so we have all heard about certain things and learned certain principles for example witches who usually gain your consciousness 
into your consciousness or your power source to bewitch you have you considered this on a larger scale or rather racial scale that races with each other's fight at the witchcraft level and there is the bohemian group that we have just explained and say oh your purpose bana le basali ba tswane le molimo ho pela ka vocabulary ho le mamoya ka tsebo e ya mahlale boikitselo le ta yeo e mele amuna ndi akazi akuyenera kukala ngati mulungu kudzera mumoyo wa ukoma komantsu kukulitsa mzimu kudzera muchidziwiso cha sainz matichidwe di chizolwezi cha chupi let's clear the issue of the spirit and the netas uh and many other things that we have dealt with now so first and foremost netas are not spirits uh you can in our book that we uh, released uh, last year the god fiction we explain these issues yet african mythology is filled with active spirits imimoya muyo mwea or mzimu invisible beings with the powers for good or evil these are not ghosts or tokoloshis they are rituals that target spirits healers use the spirits witches use the spirits of course spirits are less grand less powerful and more like humans than the gods or divinities or so called most high spirits have weaknesses and uh, emotions and they can easily be bribed many spirits are associated with physical features such as mountains so there are mountain spirits there are spirits in uh, rivers wells trees and springs nations and peoples and even small communities may honor local deities or spirits unknown outside their borders for example in southern africa there is a place called matopos uh, where there is a, a very strong and powerful bantu spirit residing there but the place is now controlled by the freemason imlenati gang via sister john rhodes who was buried in that uh, place this is the diagram that we emphasize that we should look at and understand and grasp the question that we want to deal with is should we worship spirits netas or only the nameless creator alice wena in describing laser in african mythology in african mythology myth encyclopedia god story legend ancient animal snake war world flower creation says this on the high god by the baila or batonga and other tribes of northern zambia she explains that laser is described as the one who does what no other can do so in writing about the rwanda a people wena describes their supreme being imana same as amen by the greeks in a proverb which goes this way there is none to equal imana so these descriptions show the uniqueness of the non spirit no being creator or so called supreme being in african religious ontology who brings things into existence that did not exist anywhere else this is the one indicated here is not a spirit or a being so here's the question should we worship the creator never ever not in a minute you do not worship a non spirit or a non a being how do you do it how do you worship such a force you can't we should never pray to the nameless creator you can't you can you think you may but you won't very few know this fact the creator is not god and uh, the creator or god in a stand it clearly demonstrates why the creator the nameless creator is no gender is no wife is no mother was not created is not jealous does not bear to satan and there are many many issues you read this book clarifies that clarifies and it tallies in with the explanations that we have already given concerning the creator and vis-a-vis -vis the netters so the creator is not a netter is not a spirit that should be clear evans preacher in his definitive view of god known as koth among the newer people of sudan says the newer word we translate god they translate god and we are using in it in this program in protest we do not use this word for the creator is cause spirit that's the conception and the understanding that these people or these scholars have 
but we have already clarified that a spirit is a created entity a netter is a created entity a human being is a created entity uh is not the creator the creator cannot be what is created the creator creates we may certainly say that the noah do not regard the sky or any celestial phenomenon as the creator and this is clearly known in the distinction made between the creator and the sky in the expression spirit of the sky and spirit who is in the sky moreover it would even be a mistake to interpret of the sky and in the sky too literally he, he, the scholar here is making a very good stride but does not get near the chasm he stops before the chasm and gets tangled up in uh theophonics and words that do not mean anything and we have simplified it in our book the creator or a god so he says they may address the moon but it is god to whom they speak uh, through it so they say god but we say creator but we say you cannot again uh, reach the creator by addressing the nameless creator by addressing uh, the moon uh, which is regarded as a spirit or a person though the creator is not sky moon rain and others he reveals himself through them we do not subscribe to this at all all that we understand is that uh, the creator is beyond all this Evans Pritchard has carefully explained that though the various natural phenomena are not the creator or the nameless creator from the african concept of the creator they are vehicles through which the creator reveals himself to people we still maintain that the creator is unique and uh, that is how africans see the supreme being so that that, that, that is we took it to this uh, level so that we can come to the nature of the divinities the act two critical explanations by uh bantu scholars on the concept of the creator first there are two major schools of thought as regards to the origin of divinities in african religious ontology the first school of thought is led by john s mbiti he argues that divinities were created by the supreme being the second school of thought championed by e bolaji do who argues that divinities were not created but were brought out into being so these are two concepts that are completely different and you have to understand the concept of bringing into being and creating in other words from the point of view of the theology of african traditional religion it will not be correct to say that the divinities were created it will be correct to say that they were brought into being or that they came into being in the nature of things with regard to the divine ordering of the universe so divinities are intermediaries between men and the supreme being the intermediaries that you see on that diagram they have therefore become channels or tools through which sacrifices prayers and offerings are presented to the supreme being in africa there are no images of the supreme being but the divinities are represented with images temples or shrines idohu explains that the divinities do not prevent africans from knowing or worshiping the supreme being so what is all this is happening i i think we have uh why we explain it like this and the scholars explain like this i think those that i have interacted with uh on our whatsapp group and the many other forums this is what we have explained and this is what we have given so you can go to this research.net and uh, given here and you uh, can also go to the description uh, on this channel uh, or video where we give these uh, linkages so these are the two scholastic uh, approaches to what we are dealing with here the most high god so the most high god is a mere substitutional phrase which we must refrain from using since it distorts and imports jewish and christian notions to the otherwise nameless not a spirit and not a being creator we must also never use the pagan words like god lord yahweh elohim in reference to the nameless creator so this is the essence of knowing and understanding the real creator and how you contemplate and worship 
that nameless creator beyond mere human created languages or nouns or words or verbs now let us clarify the term nature since we have explained the african philosophy on the issue of the most high who is nameless what is nature we shall clarify this and elaborate uh, the answer on this uh, question shortly is neta the creator no are there any neterit in african traditions yes how is neta related to your ninefold soul as tools as weapons we must use how would anyone benefit from knowing anything about netas because they are a force and then they give you power why are the gods and goddesses worshipped as power boosters as tools as force fields are netas a spirits no but they operate spiritually so we have these are very important answers that uh, we have uh, given so what is a uh, neta according to logical scholars neta means gods and goddesses you must always know that they are also connected with your totems and totemism but to the ancient scientist of hermet the teachings of neteru represented more than the modern concept of divinities or spirits that's what we have just answered they also represented cosmic principles or laws of the universe different levels with the within the consciousness or mentality of humans as one studies the neteru they gain a deeper insight into their nature as well as creation the common word given by the egyptians to god and a god with small g and the spirits of every kind and a being of all sorts and the kinds and forms which were supposed to possess any superhuman supernatural power was neta who we'll show this is the hieroglyphic of that word neta is described by uh, dr muwata ashby neta means divinity and uh, there it is the symbol of neta is described by the kamitan priests uh, is that which is placed in a coffin is like a flag or an x get our term muteto mutemo or murao that's exactly the source temo demo mutemo muteto it all seems very clear about when you go scholastic and you go with egyptologist but when you ask what's the image what does it represent many hieroglyphic symbols are easily identified what we define as god truly means that which is sacred that which is beyond corruption netherus is a plural commonly translated as gods could now be defined as those things which do not decay or do not die found emblazoned in cities and even on graves but dr mot ashby a great bantu scholar has clarified this for us and said is that which is placed in the coffin or more we will give what he has explained some more so you can see that this is uh, the explanation the word in general use in text of all periods for that god with capital g and also god with a small g uh which we are going to explain a uh, further the hieroglyph for neta or nature looks like a flag because in the pre-dynastic period roadside shrines were marked with the long pennant flags on very tall flag uh, poles like that so that is neta now when correctly understood nature is a force that moves any object even the universe itself is supported and sustained by the natures or any phenomenon and will eventually impact every person or anything in nature effectively with tremendous direct or subtle power so nature which we love to call nature ourselves equal divinities or gods equals force fields if you are to use uh, physics the symbol of the nature was described by an ancient hermit as that which is placed in a coffin the term nature comes from ancient uh, african hieroglyphic language which did not uh, record vowels however the term survives in the coptic language as nuta the same coptic meaning divine force or sustaining power applies in the present as it did in ancient times it is a symbol composed of a wooden staff that was wrapped with strips of fabric like a mummy the strips alternate in color with yellow 
green and the blue the mummy in kamiten spirituality is understood to be the dead but the resurrected divinity so the nuta is actually every human being who does not really die but goes on to live in a different form further the resurrected spirit of every human being is that same divinity phonetically the term nuta is related to other terms that have the same uh, meaning nutriment nutritious nature creation this is what dr moata ashby explains it and elaborates about this on this issue the spirit world is enveloped in electromagnetic forces that connects with our souls at the spirit level if we are awake and we tune to that frequency where we connect and link with many other realities universal laws govern the realities and man is capable of transcending all of them if he or she wants to so it's your willpower it's by your choice that is what is hidden and taught to initiates this is what connects you to the spiritual realm or disconnects you the knowledge of these subtle realities this is how the world was grabbed from us by others when we told them these are secrets and they understood how to harness them for their own advancement our ancient ancestors formulated the how to into the, the a fine art but today the formula is used largely by the jews and secret societies the most uh, highly kept secret of the ages by mankind is how to acquire the power of the spirits and these forces here is how it all moved across the nutarian forces were stolen and are the gods of the colonizers stolen goods so these are the ancient african divinities and their names and this is where they were taken into the jewish as patriarchs as well as chaldean as kings look at that you can see it's quite straight no questions about it it's very very clear we give more examples of how the divinities were stolen the nutarian forces were stolen and are now the gods of other kingdoms and nations and races there is the ancient committee ah uh, you can see them and even the names of cities were changed to suit the colonizer and enslaver so these are the greek names and these are the roman names so all our powers have been moved across and all the principles are now there and when you don't know the principles you will never be able to use it because it's just like walking into a room a uh, dark room with electricity but you don't know where the switch is the high god in africa is not worshiped praised or talked about you may but you should be following the correct protocol it is important for all religious people particularly bantus who are christians or muslims to understand that yahweh is a jewish tribal god and not the ultimate source of real spirituality we have just proved that and shown you the diagrams and the evidence let's now be honest and frank for us conscious humans under current brutalities economic mismanagement and political suppression uh it does not feel like our religion or spirituality and even the power of our ancestors or the power of the creator are useless but we must realize that we are being tried and tested and purified all we need is more zest more energy and a more connectivity to the spirits the ancestors the natures and the powers and our own mental efforts if you know in your heart of hearts that yes this is it yes i need to be boosted and connected to share more spirit force fields and the spirit and support each others in this effort please do not hesitate let's connect send us an email on join it marfado.com and uh, visit our website shown here www.marfado.com hama tinofani rwa kuveti chifana nana samatenga kuburikidza ne upenyu hwesimba rake uye nekujara kwakwemweya unoti tunza hwidibo nezivo inompiro yezvokwadi nokugaro rovedza muviri amen 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 Please chat by LM Dimitri Lucey thank you till we meet again tatenda siyabonga thank you edupe encos